So I'm here now with Joseb from Netta. Joseb, what, what's your job? Hi, David. Uh, so I run the AI machine learning business across EMEA, basically. I'm a senior industry solutions manager for NetApp. Fantastic, fantastic. So yesterday in the keynote, um, yourselves and one other storage vendor that we shan't mention right now um, got, uh, got announced as being solution specialists, basically certified solutions for NVIDIA, for AI, with DGX, with Tesla. Obviously, you guys are one of them. I thought you just did storage. Can you tell us a bit more about what, what that will mean? Well, actually, that's the thought of every customer I'm meeting nowadays. However, uh, you know, when uh, we announced with NVIDIA the partnership end of July, and then we had the reference architecture coming up, which is called ONTAP AI, where we are bundling uh, the DGX is basically the supercomputers from NVIDIA with the NetApp uh, all flash systems. Um, but however, people would think, okay, that only brings performance into the play. As you said, uh, it's not only about performance. Performance is there, we're matching the GPU performance. Uh, most importantly, we're feeding the uh, multiple GPUs, the multiple DGXs as needed, keeping them as busy as possible. But from another perspective, we're bringing what is called the data fabric. We're bringing the data pipeline into yeah. the AI world, uh, making people happy about um, bringing the data from the edge to the core, to the cloud, right? So we've got our ONTAP um, software running on the edge, on edge devices that can be placed if from anything uh, like a car into a remote site. Then you've got in the core, the DGX is the ONTAP AI that is running the training, the actual training that is happening on a large amount of data. And then you've got the cloud where we're running our ONTAP also with cloud volume services inside the major hyperscalers like AWS, um, Amazon, and uh, so Amazon, AWS, Azure, and, and Google. So you essentially can do that whole, um, you know, one of the things that got brought up over and over again was that sort of cradle to grave, the end-to-end -end solution. So, you know, we're talking about you know, a lot of what we've spoken about here for a long time has been majority simulation and training and all the data center but now obviously with the inference devices with the edge devices with you know the xavier and the agx and drive that sort of high performance capabilities are going to the edge what you're saying is that you can then underpin the edge with a continuous fabric from from the edge all the way into the data center and up to the cloud yeah so as you mentioned edge requires high performance but at the same time they require they they require smart data management, right? Yeah. Smart data movers, what we call them. Uh, you got to think about it, David, as the data logistics, yeah. right? Uh, if you're buying anything from Amazon or somewhere else, what also matters is the shipping. If you're not getting your stuff in, in a day, then you're, you're blaming someone in here. Point. So for us, it's the performance on how we're moving the data from this, as you mentioned, high edge devices into the core, into the cloud. The other thing I want to mention is the rapids that, that NVIDIA announced yesterday, yeah. right? Uh, and how do we integrate with that? If you think about it, NetApp has, NetApp has been in the market for 25 years now. We've been doing ETL on our stuff uh, for the past five to 10 years, uh, traditional ETL or with the big data, e ELT, let's say. Um, and that means that now we don't only have sequential read performance, but we have to mix out different performances for different workloads. That is the ETL where it's going to be sequential and random, small, large files, and then into the training where there's the sequential reads of large blocks, let's say. Yeah, fantastic. So you guys essentially are well geared up for all of this, but I mean, is it, what are the storage platforms that you're using to underpin this? Is it Flash? Is it SAS? Is it? Right. Because obviously it's big data, but obviously big data on a, on a, on a SSD, I mean, so you're right, our portfolio is actually perfectly suited for different t-shirt sizes, let's say. Um, so for the DGX ones, for the ONTAP AI reference architecture that we made, for those who require this data fabric capability, so we're running ONTAP, basically with the all flash fast systems, the A800, which is which we recently got like ranked number one flash in the world. Uh, and, and then for those who require InfiniBand access, for example, they're, they're just looking into data lakes that are running Luster. Um, that is where we are positioning the, for example, the E-series side of the business. Um, that is where InfiniBand comes into the play. But overall, for the data management, for the data fabric, we're positioning the ONTAP, all flash systems in the core, then we've got the ONTAP select on the edge, then we're running the cloud volumes in the cloud. So we'll look, Josep, thank you ever so much for thank coming you, on. David, for really appreciate yeah. it, and uh, yeah, keep Have up the good, good work. Thank All you right, very much. Thanks. Cheers.